Monday morning to you guys. <clears throat> I realized that I have enough footage for two vlogs, and so now I think I'm starting a third vlog. I, I really need to get, get my act together. So, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, first of all, I gotta tell you guys, I'm digging this sweatshirt so much. It's a very thin sweatshirt, so it's good when your um, husband likes to turn the air conditioning down lower than <clears throat> you would appreciate. So, apparently I left the bathroom light on. Um, I'm just wearing it with a pair of leggings. I'm a, I will um, link it below for you guys. It comes both in straight size and plus size. I just love, well, I love camo anyway. But I love the rough neck. I can't remember what it's called, but like the rough neck. And I like the length of it. And it's comfortable. I love it. So, I'm going to show you guys that. Okay. Um, now. There are a few things I wanted to show you. First of all, where did I put that? Okay. I'm going to take this in here to show you. I meant to show you this on the last one. So, y'all, you, you just take such good care of me. Jen, who is a long-time subscriber, and she and I message back and forth quite a bit, and then video back and forth sometimes. She, her husband went to the Masters, and she sent me, she had him get me and send me um, a Masters hat. I'm so excited about this. Um, it's just, it's gray with a, with masters in pink. I love it. So I wanted to say, I said thank, thank you to her already, but I wanted to say it on here. And then she sent me a couple of other random -y things. The Detox Dry Shampoo, which I like so much. And I really like this Briogeo Scalp Revival. Um, and I think now I can use it. I couldn't use it for a while because, um, of my extensions. And this is the, um, Blow Dry Perfection Spray from Briogeo. But I, this is... <sighs> If you've never felt this, it's like a whipped charcoal, so it's charcoal color, it's a whipped consistency, it's got granules in it, it's really good for your scalp. And before I had extensions, I was digging it. And then I got the, the tapins and stuff and I was worried about it getting stuck in there. So I haven't used it since. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to put you in the cupboard here. Actually, no, let me show you this first. I'm all over the place today, y'all. So I ordered a pair of earrings from Hitchcock Madrona. I ordered, paid for it myself, but I wanted to show you how pretty they send a, a fun little card. It says, thank you so much. These are amazing. Wear them with sass, <laughs> which made me, made me smile. And then I just want to say, it's just the little things. Like they take the time to wrap the box in a nice, neat little way. So let me just, let me um, unwrap them and I'll show you. And then she sends them in a velvet little box. I mean, come on. Aren't those beautiful? They were not inexpensive, but they're beautiful. So I'm gonna put them on here and then I'll show you. You guys, I love them. So you know I wear a lot of silver and I just didn't have any good gold hoops. And so when I saw those and I've purchased stuff from her before and I know her, her um, products are good quality, I was like, yes please, sign me up. So I'll list her website, Instagram, something else I'll list below. She, it's a, she's got a boutique in Seattle on 34th Avenue and actually here let me show you this how about that I'll list it below for you as well but I mean focus there um and I've just I've never got anything from her that I didn't like so I wanted to show you guys that and then then the last thing I wanted to share with you is the <laughs> Oh, these mugs that my friend Mary Joy sent me, they crack me up. First of all, she sent me a pair of earrings, too. Let me just um, see if these in here, which they're beautiful. They are silver with some turquoise and sparkle. Um, you guys, hopefully you can see that. So pretty. She got them at her local salon, if I remember right. And then, <laughs> this is the first one. Um... We're not telling Bob I got it anymore. It's just only my credit card likes a workout. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny stuff right there. And then this one says, anything I say or do before coffee doesn't count. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys that. They, what's funny is that they're in these boxes, really nice boxes that had the, you know, what they said on the top. But so, so sweet of her. She, she is, oops, chucking things around here. She sent a really sweet note as well. So I wanted to share those couple of things with you guys. All right. I need to make some more coffee. This week is going to be really interesting. I got to tell you. Holiday weeks are always tricky with work and 
um, you know, working with sales reps and stuff. And so, you know, make myself some more coffee and try to figure out my best plan of attack for this week. All right, so left are 10. And it's funny, I just, since we've talked, since I vlogged before, I've decided if you guys want to, and I stuck it in the vlog that's going up today, so we'll find out that I, may, I think I'm going to do Vlogmas. So maybe welcome to Vlogmas. We'll see what everybody wants. If nobody wants it, then I won't do it, and it's just a plain old vlog. But <clears throat> no, I'm sure I just cut up a watermelon. <laughs> I actually did it really quickly because the garbage hadn't come, and I wanted to get the you know all the watermelon rinds out there. But um, it's two. I'm going to set you down in here. Actually, no. This I think this one works better. You know, I'm just forever put, putting you guys in my cupboard. So, um, Bob's going to be like, why is that glass moved over there? It's fine. So, it's too late. I didn't eat breakfast. It's 10 o'clock, and I don't really feel like breakfast foods anymore. So, I'm going to use one of these wraps. Um, it's the Extreme Wellness Wraps. I've talked about these a bunch last year. I still eat them, but I just haven't talked about them recently. Um, if you are curious, they're 100% whole wheat. They have flaxseed in them. Um, they have five net carbs. I'm looking at what the thing is. No sugar, no hydrogenated oils, 50 calories, 11 grams of fiber, and four grams of protein, in case you're curious. So I'm going to take one of these things. This is what I do sometimes. And then, oh, I forgot. Hello. This actually is relatively low calorie, what I'm about to make, in case any of you care about that I try to keep track of that and then I'm gonna use a little bit of pizza sauce this is if you use a whole quarter cup it's 30 calories I am not using a whole quarter cup it's a lot of pizza sauce um, I'll show you I'll show I would guess it's about a tablespoon is what I use <clears throat> so like that Ooh, I think I just zoomed in accidentally but that's fine so then I'm going to spread that around with a little spoon. Cooking with Kristen. If you're new to the vlogs, welcome. Uh, if you did not know, I feel like that's not much sauce. We're going to add a little more. Oh, I was worried. I thought I had the thing open. We're going to add a little, about a half tablespoon more in case anybody's really want to keep track of things. Um... I do have a lot of Cooking with Kristen videos. Feel free to check those out. I can't remember if I ever made a playlist of those or not. If I did, I'll list it below. If not, just search the channel for Cooking with Kristen. What's funny is those are my most viewed videos. Hold that. Hold them apples. Then I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese on here because clearly I'm making a pizza sort of a thing here. Um, and I use about a quarter cup, which is 80 calories, for those of you that care. Again. Yeah, that's no more than a quarter cup. I'm trying to make sure that all the cheese is on the wrap, because I really don't want to have to spend time scrubbing this pan. I just want to be able to quickly wash it down. <laughs> I have the oven on 400. I haven't done this since last year, and I only ever do it when I have things to use up. So we did pizza pudgies when we were camping, and I've left over these little pepperonis. So a full ounce of these is 140 calories. There's no way. Actually, here. How can I do this? So I have one of these OXO scales. I bought this, I think, Amazon or something. I'll link it below for you if you're curious. Um, I use this all the time when I'm trying to make sure like that I have the right amount of ounces on something. So you put it on there. This pulls out. See that pulls out? Push that back a little bit and I'm going to zero it out. And then I'm going to put on pepperoni and then I'll know how many ounces I put on. So here we go. And they're rolling all over the place because, you know. These mini, mini pepperonis, if you camp and do pizza pudgies, the mini pepperonis are awesome. Okay. So that's about a half ounce is what I put on there. I'm going to spread them out a little bit, but I'll show you what a half ounce looks like. 
So there you go. So let's see. Let's add that up in case anybody is curious. 50 calories for the wrap. 80 is 130. That was for the cheese. For the sauce, it's not even worth calculating. I didn't use it. Well, I used about, we'll say 15 calories. So 145. And then 70 calories is 210. Did I add that up right in my head? Oh, what am I doing? I don't need any more of these. Um, instead of spreading, I was getting more out. So for 210 calories um, and some good fiber, you got some dairy in there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I live in the land of cheese. I can't not like cheese. And I think I'm out of my pizza seasoning. Let's just look if I refilled that or not. Oh, not quite out, but I have this pizza seasoning. Boy, I put you guys in the wrong spot. Um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so this pizza seasoning, and I'm just going to shake a little bit of that on, and there you go. Lunch. That's lunch, folks. For dinner tonight, we're having leftover salsa chicken. Um, those you guys in the cupboard. So I'm going to put this in. I'm just going to set the timer for like 10 minutes. And it's not quite at 400, but close enough. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like and how long I actually went. All right, I checked it after eight minutes and it hadn't even gotten up to 400. Remember, it was at like 345. And this is what it looks like after eight minutes. So it's crispy. And oh man, look at me. Now I'm going to have to scrape the pan. Anyway, that's what it looks like. So that's going to be my lunch for today. My lunch slash... Let me turn this off. Um, lunch slash brunch. What? Whatever. I don't know. But that's what I'm going to eat right now. Because I'm starving. And I didn't feel like breakfast food. All right, it is noon. And I was going to edit on my lunch. But I, um, I'll finish it later. I'll do it when I get back. I'm not really one or the other. Um, I need to go to church. We haven't been to church in a few weeks, and I have our, apparently three, I have three weeks of church envelopes I need to go drop, drop off for our offering. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be glad when we are done with this batch of envelopes, because they were like sealed in the one corner, and I couldn't get my check done. Anyway, I am really trying to be better about saying anyway, you guys. Um, I am. You have no idea how many I edit out. I don't know. It's like my transition word, but I'm trying. Promise. So let's see. I can put this way. So I need to go to church. I need to drive through the bank, and I need to run down to Sensei's where we bought our about two end tables and an entertainment center for downstairs, and they're holding it for us. But I want to go pay for it. So that's what I'm going to go do right now on my lunch. It probably won't take me the whole time, so then I can finish editing when I get back. I mean, it's not like I'm driving all over. I mean, I'm driving all over town, but I'm driving all over town in Shawano. So there's that. <laughs> it's, it's not really all over town. I have, I have a whole folder of my... This is, it's getting thick, which is not necessarily a good thing. This is my folder of 2019 flood repairs. I should do flood repairs and home improv and improvements because the entertainment center is more like an addition or an improvement where the like flooring and stuff is repaired. You feel me? Like the cleaning, the drying out of everything. I'm really frustrated about that now. The more I think about that, the more it drives me just a little bit crazy that we paid to dry out that carpet and then we can't use it. It's not anybody's fault. It just drives me a little bit crazy. To show you guys something while, while we're out here. <clears throat> Let me drop this in here. So, <laughs> there's the toilet. <laughs> Super exciting. The wall set for the shower and the base. But, <laughs> this is our, this, this big box here is our, um, vanity. 
But I want to show you guys this. So this trunk, we have it open because I'm trying to air it out because it smells really musty. But this is from my grandmother. So my mom's mom trip to Europe. Back in the day when they used trunks. I just have a thing for trunks, what can I say? But I mean, it has down here her name and stuff and it has like what, which room she was in. So not sure I'm gonna be able to air it out enough to use it. I was really hopeful like to, in decoration or something. So I really wanna do something. I'm probably gonna ask Paul if he has any ideas. My friend Paul from Paul's rule of thumb. Um, if he has any ideas. At the very least, I'd like to try to take some of the pieces, you know, especially the ones with her name, like somehow try to get it off of here and frame it or something. I don't know. I want to do something with it, but all right. Right now, what I'm going to, I swear I just felt something fly into my head. <laughs> I must look like a lunatic to you guys sometimes. All right, I'm gonna go run my errands. Mm -hmm.